Okay, welcome back guys. Um, I'm sorry it took so long, but we're finally going to continue episode 2. So let's just get into it, right where we left off. I really hope this isn't as bad as the, as the first episode. The first Life is Strange was so much better right now. In my opinion, of course. I might be contradicting what other people believe, but yeah. Later, Skip. Later. Looks like David's here. Awesome. Okay, let's see what Rachel said. Yesterday was worth it. Yeah, hell yeah, it was. Okay, it's about damn time. David, please. Chloe, your mother and I have been talking. Uh, I don't care. I don't care. I know. That's what we need to talk about. I don't need a conversation. Not with Sergeant Asshat here. I just need some space. Do not use that language with your mother. Or what? Or what, David? What will you do? You do not want to test me. Kind of Maybe do. if you try listening to me, instead of fighting me about everything, you might actually learn a thing or two. What? How to be a soldier? Soldiers put family and future above self and now. Getting kicked out of school? That's what losers do. You had a scholarship, Chloe. Do you know what that means? What kind of opportunity you gave up? Do you want to work at the diner? I mean, you do. There's nothing wrong with waiting tables, Mom. Chloe, I'm proud to wait tables because it means you can be whatever you want to be. But what is that, Chloe? What do you want? Maybe... I don't know yet. Maybe you've had long enough to figure it out. Right now, what I need most of all is for the two of you to start getting along. Chloe, I care about Joyce very much. I'm willing to forgive you for the incident yesterday. If you improve your attitude going forward. Incident? What incident? Chloe was incredibly out of line. She insulted me, swore at me. But with an apology, I'm willing to start over. Mm, let's go with sure. Sure. Reset button pressed. I am glad to hear it. From now on, I will be assisting your mother in a few areas. Like making sure that you are no longer abusing drugs or alcohol. Mom. Chloe. I'd like you to empty your pockets and place all your belongings on the trunk of the car. What the fuck? If we are going to start over, we have to know that you are not abusing drugs. If you're not, you should be eager for the chance to prove it. Mom, I don't need more discipline from you. I need my mom. I know, Chloe, and I'm sorry, but David feels- Joyce. We. Feel this is the best way to start fresh. Let's go, Chloe. Quit stalling. I mean, as far as I know, she doesn't have any drugs with her. Let's just comply. Fine. You want to see my shit so badly?
Uh huh. You know what sucks even worse than invading someone's privacy? Doing it for no reason. You're awfully smug for someone who just got kicked out of school. Oh, bite me. Chloe, I'm sorry. Can you forgive me? You, but not him. Sure. As long as you promise to never speak to this asshole again. Chloe! Joyce, you can't start apologizing now. This will only encourage her. That's enough out of you, David. We need to start treating each other better. And that means all of us. We need a new beginning. A new chapter. One that will involve the three of us together. W what does that mean? We both agree that the best thing for everyone at this stage is for me to move in. Oh, fuck no. Oh no! God! No! God, please, no! 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 No fucking way. Chloe, after everything that's happened, I'm at a loss. I need help. Exactly. We need a firmer hand steering this ship. Talk to me, Chloe. Tell me what you're feeling. Eh, this is begun. You're trying. I get it. I, I swear, I do. And I've been making it harder for you. But this is not the answer. No, it's not. It's the only answer I have, Chloe. In a million years, I never thought you'd choose David over me. I'm sorry I took that for granted. I'm not choosing anyone over anyone else. It's about the three of us having a home together. It'll be better than you think, Chloe. Once everything's running smoothly, you'll see what a stable home can be like. Remember, David actually cried when he heard Chloe died in the first game. Hey! There is no home. Not if he's there. Chloe. Let her go. She'll come home as soon as her tantrum is over. You're still an asshole. Now where are you? How do you now? know which way is up? when your whole life has been turned upside down. Pretty sure Rachel's gonna show up any second. Black Hole's done with me. I can't go home anymore. Is this junkyard all I've got left? Hesitating, just beat the crap out of the car. Oh wait, no, that's your car. Well, soon to be, I think.
Ugh. This thing is a mess. Yep, it is. But maybe I can fix it. If this beast will ever run again, the first thing it needs is a new battery. Okay, so let's go find another car. Wonder if I can find one around here. Oh, right, you can't go that way, I think. Uh. I guess I'll never ride one of these again. That's so awesome. You're a long way from the beach. Okay, is there any... no. We need to find a modern car, I think. So maybe this one? What are you trying to hide under there, Hood? Maybe unlock it first? Now that's easier. Here we go, the pick of the litter. That's if the battery still works. Return the battery to the truck. Could have gone badly. Won't turn over. Damn. This thing needs more love than I can give right now. In the meantime, maybe I can spruce it up a bit. Okay, let's see what Rachel wants. While an escape hatch could be nice, I should probably cover over this massive hole. Yeah. Probably a good idea to cover over this with something. Beach towel, I'm telling you. I bet if I look, I can find something else to fix inside the truck. Oh, okay, yeah, sorry. My bad. Maybe there's another light bulb I can put in here. Now I get Okay, let's see what else this trash heap has to offer. Guess I was pretty pissed at Rachel last night. Amazing that someone I just met could have made me this angry. Mm -hmm. um, okay, let's just first go get the beach towel. I think, yes, for the This seats. could cover that torn seat and look awesome doing it. Okay, now we need something for the floor. But we got a light bulb. You might not work. Then again, I hardly ever work. OK, 
we need one more item. Now where are we gonna find that? Okay, no, not a syringe. Um, um, probably not a police notice. Yes, please, Matt. I used to love opening up the diner with mom before school. I guess those days are now officially over. Uh, yes, this, this can work. You should cover that life-endangering floor hole quite nicely. Not exactly fixed, but looks better. This thing looks like a rusted out shopping cart. Probably drives like one too. That's if it ever does drive, which seems questionable. You just gotta believe. Still, how sweet would that be? Hey, Frank. What's up? Yeah, just checking in to see how you're doing. Really? No. Listen, we've got some business to discuss. Where can we meet? What about... Oh, like... drugs? Price. I'm hanging out in the junkyard, north of town. The junkyard. That's great. Stay there, I'll see you soon. Okay. And, Frank... I'm not in trouble or anything, right? I don't know. Did you do anything you should be in trouble for? <laughs> like, in general? Or to you? I'll see you soon. That's not a good thing. Time for a hard-earned smoke break. That's graffiti. You only shit. get one chance to make a first expression. Uh, let's go with mystical. See how that looks. The eye sees all. Ooh, Illuminati. Does your truck look like an aquarium on wheels? <laughs> Didn't think so. I think she's gonna doze off. Yep. She 
she is. Okay, I think we're going to leave it there, guys. Uh, thank you so much for watching and see you next time. Bye.